you got to tell me, can I get you to believe me on this one point? All right. Here's the one point I need you just to believe me. I know it might not have sunk in yet. All right. But I need you to believe me with this one point. Can you agree with me that if given a circle with a radius of one, that halfway around the circle is pi and all the way around the circle is 2 pi. If I start at my initial side here. OK? It doesn't matter what the, radi what the radius is. However, for my radius, halfway around my circle is going to be pi radians. All the way around the circle is going to be 2 pi radians. All right? So when we talked about if I said, where is the angle 1? If I said my angle theta equals 1, where is that? Well, you just have to kind of visualize theta equals 1 is right there. But that's about 1 radian, right? Take the radius, wrap it around, right? Roughly? OK. Yes, what's your question? If I ask one, remember, it's 1 radian. That means your distance of your radius wrapped around, right? So now. Um, and then if I said, what about where is, what about if I said my theta equals 4? What quadrant would that be in? Well, you start here and you say 1 radian, 2 radians, 3 radians. Eh, it's roughly probably somewhere around there, right? That's about 4 radians. What about like Good question. So negative 4 would be here, but then you'd go in the negative direction, so it would be right about there. Right? Because remember, you're going in the negative direction. But when it started, it's the same place. Yep, you missed, you missed what I went through. So if you start here, right, that's about one radian, two radians, three radians, four radians. Okay, so negative would just go the opposite. So that's about radians, it goes negative four. We're not talking about degrees anymore. We're talking just about radians. So if I say, what is the angle of negative four radians, you start at your initial side always. And you go about in that direction, about that length. Would you guys agree that's roughly about, I mean, I'm estimating. But that's roughly about there, right? Yes. Crazy? I know. OK. So let's go. That's just a little estimation technique to help you guys out. Let's go back to my circle here. OK. So we have our initial side. And I said that halfway around is pi, all the way around is 2 pi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of you, what you witnessed in your homework was fractions of pi. Yeah. Halfway around was pi, but they're not talking about pi, or they're not even talking about radians. They're not talking about one radian, two radian, three radians. They're talking about pi radians, or pi over two. So if I say pi divided by two, that means you're going to take pi and divide it by two. So how far along would that be? Half. Well, a half, yeah. Because from here, if here to here is pi, half of that is from here to here, right? Now, what is the measure of that? If you're going to think about degrees, what would that represent? 90 degrees, right? So now let's go back to our definitions real quick. You guys remember complementary and supplementary? So if I was talking about complementary angles or two angles that added up to give you 90, right? And I said that was theta prime equals 90 minus theta. If I was going to rewrite that for, for radians, you can now say that's going to be theta prime. Now, it doesn't equal 90, but what is the radian measure of 90? Pi over 2 minus theta. And supplementary angles would be phi 2 equals, what's 180 equivalent in radians? Pi minus theta. Yeah, pi over 1. And we're gonna, I'm going to give you guys some examples in a different video for that. So don't worry about that. What um, did yes? OK, let's go back. How did you get pi over 2? Well, from here to here is pi, right? Yes. Pi divided by 2 means half of that. Yes. So what's half of from here to here? Halfway would be to there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's really important you understand that because the next thing I want to talk about is if you understand pi over 2, what about if I say, what is, where is? 2 pi over 3. Yeah, OK, so let's think about it. 2 pi would be the whole thing, right? Hold on. Yes, well, 
Yes, two pi is all the way around like, the whole thing. Like, do the whole thing in three parts. Not the whole thing, though. You just got to be careful. We got to look at this. Remember, this isn't two pi. This is two thirds. Is two thirds greater than or less than one? Less than one. So is it going to be larger than pi or less than the pi? Uh, it's going to be less than it, right? It's going to be two thirds of pi. Yes? So in terms of like figuring out gradient, you can kind of separate the pi for one because it's not in the equation. It's not in the equation. Like since it's two pi, you're not multiplying two by pi, you're just doing that, right? You are multiplying two times pi and then dividing it by three. You are doing that. Well, I mean, like, and when you're figuring out where it goes on the little circle thing. Right. Um, I don't know exactly the answer to your question as you stated. it. Let me go through the next one and see if you can clarify it again. So ladies and gentlemen, if I wanted to, let me just go and explain this next part. So here, what did I break my, if I did pi over 2, I broke it up into how many parts? Right? Oh, so you just break it into like three parts. You could say this is 2 over 2, right? This is two, 2 parts out of the whole 2, right? It's a fraction. 2 divided by 2 is what? 1. 1 times pi is? Pi. So you could say this is 2 over 2. Do we write 2 over 2, though? No, we don't need yes. to. Okay. However, so if this is 2 parts out of 3, to go all the way around, how many parts do we need? 3 pi over 3. three. Yeah. So it's 3 parts. So if I asked you, where's theta 2 pi over 3? Well, here is how far? 1 pi, 2 pi. I just read about it. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to have that line in there, so you get messed up. Yes, Michael. So whatever the denominator is, is what you're like splitting. That's always the way that I like to look at it. Yes. Hold on, guys. Just raise your hand. I don't want to be answering okay. way too many people. So where did you get two pi from? Like, because wouldn't that be one pi over three, and then each one would be one pi over three? Each one of these would be pi over three. Yes. So that's pi over three, two pi over three, oh, okay. and then three pi over three. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Someone said over some over here. I usually like to, yeah. So let's look at it and can I, let's erase this. It's the because you think about it, it's two thirds um, into three. It's yeah. two thirds pi into three. Not two pi. Well, it's the same thing, but what it's going to do is you got to think that that's a different. That would look different. It's. It's going to give you, um, it's going to be the same answer. You're not changing it, but you got to think of uh, 2 pi divided by 3. It's still going to split it up the way that you want. Um, but all the way I like to do it, the way I like to explain it, is just take your denominator and split that up from your, of your pi. Yes? You're more than likely going to have to draw your lines if you need to do these. Um, so let's say, well, how about I do this? Um, hold on one second. Let's say I do negative, um, what about negative 5 pi over 4? How would you draw that? OK? Well, first of all, here's our initial side, right? You guys know you have to start there. It'd be down. You go the other way. And exactly, since it's negative, you have to do that. Split into four parts. And then you have four parts. So you could draw a circle and say 1, 2, 3, 4. So then pi, right, it's negative pi. Right, because we're going in the negative direction, we're just going to say. So this would be negative 4 over 4. Right? So this is negative 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. Okay. So that's the angle of theta. Right there. Start here and there. Destiny, do you have a question? OK. Mike, go on this question? Raise your hand, Jacob. Or Jacob. No, no, OK. okay. Any other questions on this? Yes? No. I will ask you to learn how to convert it to degrees, um, but we're going to be doing with radians. I'm usually going to ask for if we're talking about radians, I want you to keep it in radians. OK? Now, however, can you convert it to degrees to check your answer? Absolutely, all day long. However, you're just doing more work for yourself. I know it takes a while to like, get used to it, and that's why I'm saying the practice is going to help. For right now, 
you probably might want to convert to degrees just to double check your work to make sure you're doing it correctly. But the more you practice with this, you'll understand it's not that as bad as you want it, as it looks. Okay? Is everybody kind of cool with this? Okay. No? Yeah. Okay. So 